Well, hey guys, welcome to this video. I thought we're in the middle of July. We're all thinking about deer season. We're doing stuff with food plots. We're probably doing a lot of scouting, going out and glassing new areas, checking out public land, whatever the case may be. So why not start thinking, as we probably all should be, about the gear that we're gonna be taking into the woods and what we're gonna do. Now, we do a lot of moving around. I do put stands up throughout the year that I can go to and not have to carry as much stuff in, especially when we're filming. But one of the things I like to do is be mobile during the deer season because especially when we get into that rut and deer patterns start to change and they start to focus on chasing those does I want to be as mobile as I can and one of the things that I went to this past fall was trying out some saddle hunting I had never done it before and I've seen a lot of people doing it it's becoming more and more popular it allows you to be a lot more mobile not have to carry as heavy equipment in and it's a lot easy to set up so I did a lot of research and I checked out a different, a bunch of different saddles and I went with the tethered brand of saddles and I really liked it. I was impressed with how easy it was to obviously not only wear and get in and walk in and out of the, the, the woods, but also to set up everything that I needed to do. One of the things I struggled with was obviously how to get up the tree what type of steps or uh, climbing devices was I going to use to be able to be as light as I can, not so cumbersome, because I carry equipment, I do a lot of self-filming. So I thought what I'd do today is go through the setup that I've come up with for this fall for myself. This is for me, it may not work for you, but this is what I'm going to go with for my running gun, being as mobile as I can and as light as I can right now to get in and out when I'm either hunting on my property moving around or I'm going to public land either in New York or anywhere here in Pennsylvania where we hunt. So let's dive right into it. Well guys, before we get started though, I just want you to be sure to check out the Wild Bow Hunting Outdoor Shop on our website. Check out some of the gear that we've got available like this shirt that I'm wearing and the hat that I'm wearing right now. They're both available on the Outdoor Shop. We're going to have some arrow wraps coming very soon, so watch for those. We appreciate every purchase that you give us and it helps us to continue to bring you videos every single day that we're out and about. Alright, so let's get right to it. This is my setup that I'm going to go with for this fall for deer season for being as mobile and as light as I can. Now we've used a lot of packs over the years and we still use a lot of those packs. Uh, you've seen us this past several years using the insights packs and I love them. They work great on tree stands and stuff like that. But one of the packs that I've had for a long time is a Tenzing um, guide pack. Um, and this is the TZ1250. It has a lot of space in it and it's got a lot of room for me to be able to pack. And one of the, th there's a couple reasons why I'm gonna go with this pack for my mobile setup. And I'm gonna get into that with you. So the TZ1250 uh, is, I like it because everything is down around your waist, okay? It's got good shoulder straps, adjustable chest strap on here um, that I can put stuff in. It's got lots of pockets and let's dive right in them. So the side pockets here which are also adjustable that you can mess with. This one over here what I've got is a Primo's can so when we're getting into those times where I got to use the can and I'm going to keep the remaining straps for my climbing sticks, my Hawk climbing sticks that I'm going to be showing you here in here. I don't want to wrap them around all the sticks because it's just too messy. So this is going to be on my back when I'm going up the tree and uh, attaching a stick. So as I need a stick, I'm going to pull out the strap, put that over top of the grommet that's on there with each of the loops, cinch it on and it's right there. So they're right there at my side accessible when I need it. So those are going to stay in this one pouch right here that's really easy for me to get to along with my can. Once they're deployed there's nothing in there this is really lightweight. The, the idea with this is everything that's in here as I'm going up the tree and setting things up it's going to pretty much empty this pack and I'm going to have an empty pack for the most part when I'm up and settled in the top of my tree. So that's that pocket. The other pocket on the same side over here is basically just going to house my headlamp. Okay, that's it. 
Um, I may put some snacks or something else in there, but it's going to house my headlamp so when I'm going in in the dark, I have somewhere to put it, and when I'm getting out at the end of the day, I can just easily access that, and uh, it's right there for me. In this other side pouch right here, I'm going to have my Raptor Razor uh, Big Game Skinner set right here, okay? So I'm going to be, I take this everywhere with me. It fits perfectly right in that side pocket, and I don't need it until I've got a deer down and I've got to go field dress it. Same thing goes on the other side. I've got another pocket just exactly like that. I'm going to have my Vortex range finder, okay? This is the Ranger 1500. That's going to be right in here for me. So when I get up in there and I have everything set up in my stand, I can just pull my range finder out. I'll be able to hang that on the tree in front of me and it'll be accessible for whenever I need to range, whether it's a deer coming in or just checking yardages and distances. Um, when we take a look at the top part of the lid, before we open it, I unzip here and what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to keep two tether ropes and these are basically going to be one to hoist my bow up into the tree and the other one to hoist my camera up into the tree once I'm up in there and settle. I won't carry my camera up with me. I don't want to drop it. So I'll tie uh, each one of these off on either side of my uh, Mantis tree saddle, which we'll go over here in just a second. And they'll be right there at my disposal when I'm ready to pull those items up. So they're gonna stay in the top part, in the main zipper part of the lid of my pack. So when I open it up, all right, in here, I've got a couple of the gar tag guardian tag holders. So I'll keep those in there. So, you know, some states where I go to, if I go to Maryland, their tags, if I print them off or you pull them out of their books, they're more of a paper. So I, I can put them in this. It doesn't get, they don't get wet. They don't fall apart. And same thing with tags here in Pennsylvania. So in this, well, before we get in, there's a small pouch here. I'll put some odds and ends, maybe some extra batteries. We'll go into this front one for my cameras or for headlamps, stuff like that. So when we get into the main compartment of the bag itself, really all I'm going to have in here is a deer handle drag system for when I do get a deer. Um, and everything is going to be on my back. All I'm going to have to worry about is dragging the deer out with this. I'm going to have my camera arm, and I've gone to the fourth arrow camera arm. Um, this thing is really lightweight. It's smaller, compact, but durable and strong, so that the main arm will be in there. And then the base system. This is what will attach to my tree, and then my leveling system for the fourth arrow um, as well. So these things will get deployed once I'm up in there, and they fit perfect in here. It's just long enough that it fits right in the main compartment there. And I have still plenty of room in this compartment to put more things if I need to. So if I get later into the season, I want to add some extra clothing. I can do that in there. I can attach it on top. I can attach it on bottom. The other thing I like about this is it's got a pocket, okay, for a bow or rifle sling at the bottom. So if I really want to put the bow on my back, if I got a deer and I'm going to be back in public land pretty far, I can put the bottom of the bow in here, attach it to the sling uh, up on top here, which is your bow or gun strap, and I can have the bow on my back. It's going to be away. I don't have to worry about extra things flopping around when I'm going to be using that. So I do like that. And this is detachable. So if I needed to take it off for any reason, I could, but it just tucks back up in here really nice. You got a zipper. It's out of your way. You don't even know it's there unless you really need to get to it. So that's the pack that I'm going to be using for my running gun set. So let's talk about the, let's go with optics quick first. So these are going to be my optics that I'm using as well. I've got the Vortex guide pouch here and these are your uh, Viper HD 10 by 42s. I've been using them for several years. They're perfect. They're lightweight. They compact. I can keep them in here. They're out of the elements. The nice thing I like about this harness system here for it is I've got a lot of pockets on here. So in here I can keep extra batteries. I can keep cloths for cleaning the lenses if they happen to get a little bit fogged up. I can put extra batteries on either side for my main camera. And I can also keep my wind checker right in the side right there. So everything at my disposal 
when I need to get it. I don't have to be reaching and doing any extra movement around the tree. Uh, it's all right there for me. I can put my cell phone right in the top slide pouch right here. Um, you know, so I can be checking on X, I can be checking weather. Uh, if my brother's hunting close by, we can be texting one another that they need, somebody needs help or if I hit a deer or whatever the case may be. So let's get into the tethered saddle itself. Um, like I said, this is something I went to this year, or actually this past deer season, and I do really like it. It is lightweight, but it is durable and so safe. I wasn't sure, I had, like I said, I had never done it before. Um, I, I saw a lot of folks utilizing it, and mostly I learned a lot from the hunting public. Uh, they've been using these quite a bit, so I wanna thank the guys at the hunting public because I really did uh, like all the different scenarios that they presented in the different hunting situations that they were going to that these can be used. Um, so I went with the whole setup and I'll go through it. So this is the saddle itself. It's basically really lightweight when it's by its, itself. There's nothing to it. Um, you've got your waist strap right here, okay, which you just unclick and it's right there. It goes right around you. That thing, once it's snapped, it's not going to go anywhere. These are your leg straps. And they're basically just to kind of keep the saddle in place, all right? Um, they are adjustable, which is something that I do like, all right? I've got adjustment straps on the side here. So once this is on, if I need to adjust it for comfort, uh, as far as how it fits around my legs, I can do that with these uh, adjustment straps. If you don't want these, um, they're, they're an accessory. You have to buy them uh, separate. Um, and then they slip right in here, just like everything else with the saddle. If you don't want to use them, take them out. You don't need them, okay? You can still attach on here and it'll still work just as well. Um, same thing with this side. You know, once you have it in place, boom, there they are and they are adjustable. You can wear this in. That's mostly what I've been doing is I've been wearing this in. I put it on me. This is what I sit in all day long and it is comfortable. On the sides here, I went with the two sys hauler systems, okay, the two pouches. So the one pouch on my left here, this has my lineman's rope which comes out and wraps around the tree. It's got my carabiner on there with my <clears throat> mechanical ascent, uh, rope ascender. It makes it very easy to adjust as the maybe the width of the tree starts to get narrower as I'm going up or, or vice versa as I'm coming down, but it keeps me safe and attached. It's one arm adjustment. That's all I need to do. So I, and, and then I'm hands free when I'm hanging my sticks on. Once I'm up in there, okay, then in the bottom of that pouch. And if you go to Tethered's uh, Facebook page or you go to their website or you go to their YouTube channel, they have got instructional videos on how to set up your tree saddle system and organize. And that's where I really pretty much learn how to organize my sys haulers here is like that. This is my, uh, uh, this is my tree tether, okay? So once I'm up in the tree, I'm gonna stay attached with my lineman's rope. I'm gonna put my tree tether around it. And again, I've got my carabiner with my mechanical rope device, uh, ascender device here. And this way, once it's around there, I'm completely safe. This, I can adjust with one hand, whether I wanna stand up, I wanna sit back down, whatever the case may be with that. But when I'm not using it, this will be the first thing that comes off of the tree and goes back in there. So as I put things in the pouch, the bottom of the pouch is what comes out last. What I need first comes out first. That's why I have my lineman's rope in there as the first thing that needs to come out when I'm getting ready to ascend up that tree and uh, start getting myself in place. And they cinch up really nice. They're really lightweight, okay? The only weight you're gonna have is whatever's in the pouch. The other one over here, okay? This one I like because it has the two pouches on the side, so I can put maybe a bottle of water in here if I want to. If I'm taking any kind of a scent in there that maybe I need to spray or something like that, it can go in there, call, whatever the case may be. So again, as I get up in a tree, I pull the first things out that I'm going to need. This is my strap uh, that's going to go around the tree and it's gonna hang all my gear in it, okay? The nice thing with this is you just put that through and your main loop system right here. Once you wrap it around the tree and you just pull it to where you need it. Once you have it 
at the, at the tightness that you need. You want to snug it up a little more. You just put this little bit in there and you pull that tight. And now that is, that is durable. It's not going to go anywhere. You're going to be hanging a lot of gear off it. It is so strong. This is what I'll hang my bow off of. Okay. So I don't need to carry up any kind of a screw in arm, especially on public land where you really shouldn't be screwing anything into a tree. So this will hold my bow, no problem. And then I have a lot of other S hooks positioned around here where I'll be able to hang my pack off of. I'll be able to hang my uh, range finder off of and maybe, you know, maybe a grunt call or something like that. So that is where I'm going to hang all my gear from. All right. Also in here, I carry just an extra strap uh, from HME in case I need to hang anything else, but sometimes I don't use it. So that's why that's on the bottom. But again, it packs in very easily into this sys hauler right here. And this way you can store your stuff just like that. Okay. So that's how the saddle system goes. If you have not checked out tethered, um, go to their website. Um, I am not sponsored by tethered at all. I just chose to go with this brand and I've, I really like it. Now they came out with a brand new saddle this year called the Phantom. Uh, I, there's lots of videos on YouTube about it, uh, showing it off at the ATA. It looks even that much better. They, I mean, it's hard to improve on something this good, but they've done it and I would love to get my hands on it. But for now, I'm going to stick with the Mantis because it works. Okay. So when you get up in a tree, there's lots of ways that you can use as a, prat, a platform. A lot of people will use climbing sticks. They'll use, uh, different kind of steps to be able to go all the way around the tree or anything like that. Tethered also has their own setup and that's the Predator platform. Um, and I chose to go with that simply because I wanted to just have the complete package. Um, this comes, you can, you can get yourself an accessory pack right here that the, holds the pl Predator platform in perfectly and it's a backpack system which is why I like going with this because once I have this on my back, I have this opening here. This will be able to sit right here and it's going to be like one unit. Okay. So that is why I'm going with this pack along with this. Otherwise, if I went with uh, a regular backpack, I'd either have to strap this on, put this in the backpack along with the rest of the gear. I would need a bigger backpack and then I need a place to put my climbing steps on as well. So the predator platform, uh, again, this is really lightweight. It's a cast aluminum. There's not much to it. It comes with a very durable strap, just like a tree stand strap. And that's all it is. It is adjustable. There is a screw down here that you can adjust this depending upon the angle that the tree is uh, resting at. So you can make sure that that platform is completely level. I will tell you, it doesn't look like much. It's 12 inches um, at the width and it doesn't look like you're going to have a lot of room to be safe and secure and uh, and that is actually going to be comfortable. I can assure you once you are up in this and you have this on the tree, one, once you're locked around the tree and you get this thing strapped down in there, it is rock solid. It does not go anywhere. It's designed that you can step off the corners, swing around that tree and not shift. And I can tell you that is exactly the case. This is a very easy adjustable system that you can level that platform out once it's up against a tree. So if you've got a tree that's canted to the right or a little bit to the left, okay, and you're, you're sitting like this, a lot of tree stands today are starting to get leveling systems in them. Well, Tether did the same thing. If this is canted, okay, all you've got to do is level that system. Okay, so if your tree is angled just like this right here and you're snug up against it, your platform is going to be completely level. All right, so you don't have to worry about getting too close, it's slipping, something like that. They've taken that into consideration when they design this platform. And again, it is lightweight. There is not much weight to this. Uh, it's solid as a rock. I absolutely love it. And you can get the backpack carrying pouch right here. And it's got so many different tethers on here that you can add accessories to it if you need to carry more gear in but that's what I'm going with. Now, what I struggled with the most was figuring out how to get up that tree. What kind of steps am I going to use? Last year, all I had were lone wolf uh, climbing sticks from my lone wolf uh, climbing stand. They're great. They're lightweight, but they're long. So getting in and out of the woods sometimes, figuring out how to carry it, this, that, and the other thing was just a new system. This year I went with 
and picked up the Helium 2.0s, or the 20s, I should say. These are the new climbing sticks this year that Hawk came out with. Um, they're relatively lightweight, but I like them for a couple reasons, and I'm going to show you why. You never know how you got to get up a tree, <laughs> okay? Sometimes uh, the climbing sticks today only have a step on either side. With the Heliums, they've got two steps, so you have a step. No matter which way you've got to come down, you've got two steps on, I on either side, and they fold up. The other thing I like about them is they've got these rubber grommets on here, okay, that have a little nipple on each uh, step, and they snap together. So that makes them compactable. Uh, they've got a great base to them that's really going to bind to the tree, and they've got the very easy uh, just pull tight straps that are strong and durable, uh, just as that. Um, I like the fact that they pack together like this because what I'm planning on doing is these are going to set right on top of here just like so. I'm going to strap them in and I'm going to be able to be pretty much the only thing that's going to be in my hands when I'm walking into the woods is going to be the camera and my bow. And that's it. Everything else is going to be on my back so and or on the front of me on my chest. So this is my mobile setup for this fall deer season. I hope that helped you out a little bit. Um, I'll put links in the description below for all of these items that I just shared with you if you want to check them out. But I'm not partnered with Tether, Hawk, Tenzing, anything like that. I just use the products that I think are going to work the best for me and hopefully maybe work the best for you if you choose to go with that. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. Get ready for this deer season. If you like what you're seeing, as always, click that subscribe button. Give us a like on every video and leave a comment down below. Let us know what you're doing to get yourself ready for this deer season. That's all I got for today. I'm going to go shoot my bow and get ready. So once I'm up in this whole setup, I'll be able to make the shot when that deer comes in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.